Early in the day, New Zealand accumulated 270, but after their initial huge partnership between Broome and Latham, would have been looking at an excess of 300. And Bangladesh in reply, very tricky period, a wobble for them. Maybe he'll bring it through at a race. Yeah, well, this is where it all started. Taking a shot on, which was probably not required, followed by a huge mix-up between Sabir where both the batters ended up at the same end and then there's good bit of bowling by Jitin Patel got a bit of purchase off the wicket hitting the batsman straight in front so that's where we're at 107 required of 108 balls just under six and over So, Oasis, we had this discussion the previous time. Where would your money be now? Probably still fancy Bangladesh. Just with their experienced batters. Shakib's played a lot of cricket, so has Mashfika. And you like to think they're still in it. Oh, I think without a doubt, they're definitely in it. And I thought, you know, we were commenting towards the end of the contribution by Rubel Hussain. It's, these are moments that when you look back in games like these sorts of things, it's easy at the end of the innings to drift. But there was no drifting from him. So beautifully balanced here. Bangladesh, 164 for four as Henry resumes. And again... New Zealand's tight infielders trying to create that little bit. A squeeze. They just got to take their time. They both have got the game to catch up at the end. I think it's important to develop a partnership once they can get that going. It's always the last power play to come where they can really accelerate and go through the gears. And bearing in mind Shakib's form through this series, if you were New Zealand's captain now, would you be squeezing him that little bit more, trying to get him to force? Obviously, we're looking at five inside the circle. Would you look to possibly squeeze someone else in? Yes, for sure. I'd definitely be trying to put the pressure on the Bangladeshi batsman, especially someone like Shakib, who's short on runs right throughout the series. I'm trying to make him take a, take a higher risk shots on. And in doing that, perhaps they could get him out. And to be fair to Bangladesh, that was something they did in striving for wickets. Nisham strangled at mid-off. Again, three off, 11 now, tells its own story. He's been struggling. And again, from a New Zealand perspective, once they get this run rate up around sevens and eights, nibble away with the odd wicket, it becomes more of a challenge for Bangladesh, who were in such an unassailable position till Tamim injudiciously decided that he was going to take on the infield or outfield is it? 
but this but this is where someone like Shakib needs to really tap into his experience I know we say that he's an experienced player but that but what that means is he's got to remind himself the game becomes a lot easier the longer he spends time out there the Long, longer he's out in the middle he can put things right so it's important not to rush not to take play a rash shot early in his innings and just be patient things will improve as the game goes on yeah that's clever and that's good advice Oasis at the end of the 33rd over with Bangladesh 166 for four So another change. Satner returning at the minister end, replacing G Patel. Probably hasn't bowled at his best in this game. Six overs costing 37 runs, but vital stage now for his team. Again, Shakib, you can see he's getting increasingly frustrated away. Bottom hand coming in there. Gradually creeping up. Secret here for Satner is to bring Raheem forward. Very good cutter of the ball. Tommy, Tommy. And again, uh, taking pace off the ball away, bringing Raheem forward. Yeah, I think that's very important not to become predictable for Santana. He's got to try and change the pace. Make it as difficult as possible for the batsman to knock the ball into gaps. It doesn't look like they're looking for boundaries. It's just looking to rotate strike. So with that, you can't afford to be predictable. You've got to constantly change the pace. Rabbit Hole app is coming soon. The first Rabbit sports Rabbit entertainment Rabbit. brand from Bangladesh. Rabbit. This match is being broadcast live on the Rabbit Hole YouTube channel. That's the end of the 34th with Bangladesh 170 for four. And we're back with Henry, and he has been absolutely smashed straight by Raheem. Beautiful shot, first ball of the over. 
And what a statement that is. As Jeremy Coney gets himself set, tucks himself down, and he's joined by the wonderful John Mooney for the next passage of play. Yeah, don't get too carried away about that, John. Shot was better. <laughs> I've just slipped them a quick 20 on the way out the door. <laughs> yeah. Thank Look, you for that, Alan Lewis. Just a little shimmy, wasn't it? Saw the line, and the length happened to be there. They've targeted that boundary better today. You can see uh, early on Henry's idea is to target the stumps and be full hasn't quite found the hole yet you know that up by uh, the batsman's feet the Yorker makes it very hard to get underneath sometimes the batsman will work deep deeper in the crease there that we saw and will actually ramp it over but it's still a difficult stroke to play you miss that in some way that little ramp and then you're a palpably LBW. So it's there is an element of risk attached with the stroke. Yeah, and, and the New Zealanders will have done their homework on Mushfika. They know that he likes to play that little ramp shot. And uh, that opens up long off for him. And as you saw, he punished. <laughs> ah, yes. Even Colin Munro wasn't convinced himself he could get to that it was too straight ah they're pleased in the bleachers drop the length there Shakib quick to pick up the length pulls it 25 meters in front of the square and like you said the field that even the fastest of the fast couldn't get to that Bangladesh, it's uh, 35 overs gone, 182 for four. 17th match that uh, Bangladesh have played New Zealand away from home. Never beaten them. So there's the comparison between the two sides. New Zealand uh, have picked up one extra wicket, but don't forget, straight after the 40th over, New Zealand lost three. Bang, bang, bang. And so New Zealand need to keep up picking wickets here. They've got the experienced Shakib, Bangladesh, just manoeuvring and manipulating the ball around. Hasn't scored a lot of runs. As he said earlier today, actually, when I spoke to him, it hasn't been a great tournament for Shakib. So has he got the chance today here to just correct that? Bowled decently. Now, Mushvika, another experienced player. Oh, he's got the cutaway just to the right, but then... Oh, it's good work out there on the boundary. I think that's Nisham. Yeah. He's got a good, strong arm. Yeah, nice cut shot. And rocks back, uses the crease. Potentially could have been two, but Nisham around quickly, gets his body around it. Gets the throw in fast. New Zealand have just got to keep chipping away, and this is going to be a tight game. The required rate has just shimmied up a little to six now, you can see. Round about the time now uh, that New Zealand lost Latham and 
Broom. Sentner onto that. He's good off his own bowling. Just two from this over. He needs, if he can't take wickets, he needs to build pressure. Just a little bit of room, but that's uh, nicely played by Shakib. 36 overs now, 184 for four. New Zealand uh, just ahead in terms of runs at the comparable stage of the innings. So the Worms should see a slight separation. So a lot of activity round about this period of the game for both sides. Two of those little dots are New Zealand and uh, what three are Bangladesh. But it's close, isn't it, folks? And look at those ones ahead just for New Zealand around the corner of 40 overs. And Bangladesh won't mind falling a bit behind, just a slight bit behind here now, as long as they have the wickets in hand. And if that run rate pushes up to about seven, they won't be too concerned, just as long as they have those six wickets in hand. Anything above that, I think, is going to be a bit of a struggle for the Bangladeshis. It's all they've got to do like that, really. Now, uh, Nisham. Now, uh, Nisham was expensive earlier. Three overs for 20. Somehow he's got to uh, change that. find here Bennett so he has six he's got four so he's bowled well there six overs just at threes and then Santner at five and Patel at five as well Henry I thought had been a wee bit more expensive but just uh, under five so there's options there not sure whether Anderson will be used or not I think what Latham is doing here, he's recognised the two guys that are in are, are probably playing a bit of risk-free stuff at the minute. <clears throat> Potential to just get a couple of overs out of Nisham here and maybe uh, get him in for one or two and then hold Bennett and uh, the guys back for later on in the innings. Slower ball. Oh, a bobble, but Sentner does OK. That says peace. And also, we've got a good chance. And his sides certainly do have. with the knee raised and just brushed it away in the last ball of the Nisham over 192 for four Thank you. 
Well, the required rate is uh, still handy for Bangladesh. 79 from 78. Patel. And Shakib uh, is very difficult to keep quiet. He's just finding gaps in the field. Patel won't want that because he'd like to bowl at uh, Shakib, being the left-hander. And Shakib now just have he's got an idea I think it's a nice it's a nice situation uh, for the batsman because they know exactly what they have to do uh, whereas if they were setting here you'd be expecting big shots so they can afford to just knock it around take their singles just like that uh, from Mushfika And the gaps for the left-hander now. Shakib has just won around about point. Uh, there's a little one on the leg side if he gets just two straight. One straight down the ground to long off. He tries to go finer and he beats Bennett on the inside and takes to the short boundary. Clever. Bowler's not happy, looks like a tickish outside edge, but he has played it late and opened the face as well, Shakib. Bit of extra pace on that one from the spinner, and it is a, it is a tick outside edge, and four runs, it runs away to the short boundary. Yeah, well, the finer it goes, the quicker it runs. Yeah. Very important to uh, Broom does those that sort of work. He's got cover to his left at long off and to his right at sweeper. So he's just got to go at them. See if he can get there. Yeah, that's him again. And I think just looking at that with the pace taken off it. Seems to be an awful lot more difficult for the batsman to score. Shaki looking to hit behind square a lot, so Patel taking the pace off makes the batter have to come after him. Comes down three to three in a row to Broom, uh, and uh, that finishes the 38th over. Nearly 200, 198 for four. So, good contributions, Tamim and Shabir. And uh, Mushfika and Shakib now settling into their work. So, about a runner ball. Still Bangladesh's game to lose. Anya Baji is a blockbuster movie released last year, now inspired by its massive popularity. The spirit of Anya Baji is being carried through into Anya Baji original series, which will be aired on multiple leading TV channels during the coming Eid festival. Bennett. It's in the air. Santner getting underneath it. Takes the catch. Shakibul Hassan. 
The man looking so easy has been dismissed by Bennett returning. And we've just mentioned how effective Bennett has been today. And he's come in, short ball first up. Shakib couldn't help himself, turns it around. Santner made some nice ground and made that look very comfortable. The bowler's very happy, two hands in the air. Shakib looked in a lot of control there, but has to go. 19 off 32, Bangladesh, 199 for five. Mamadullah is the new man for Bangladesh with the dismissal of Shakibul Hassan. Look at that uh, experience. Decent enough average there. But this probably is the last of the real, the recognised batsmen for Bangladesh. So it's an important partnership now. New Zealand have slowly worked their way through with certainly Shakib looking good until this stroke which wasn't controlled. Nice height, top edge, not getting enough on it, and Santner doing the rest at fine leg. Oh, they've given it wide. Just watching Bennett here, it looks like he's gone a bit wider of the crease on that first ball and angled it straight in at the body, which uh, might have done for Shakib there, just that change of pace, angle, um, clever bowling from the big man. Just managed to clamp him up a bit, didn't it? Didn't have room to sort of free the arms enough in the stroke. 200 up. Now a slower one. As you can see, good approach to the crease from Hamish Bennett. Not as wide there as what he was. A powerful man. Hits the deck nice and hard. I think he'd be a bouncer too. Nightclub at the front. You know, you're not getting past me. Ian Corey Anderson. Quick up. Yeah, you can see that uh, that line outside off stump bringing Ross Taylor in to who is really uh, not so much a slip but more of a, a sort of third slip perhaps. Very fine gully. It's more of a slip than a gully really. But he prevents that run you know, just outside the off stump, and there's a third man as well to mop up behind him and Santner. So it's, it encourages the bowler to just get into that little fourth stump and fifth stump there. So if you want to run it, you can. Well, it's full, but it prevents the run. It's one of those sorts of appeals, and I think there's a suggestion there was something on that from the bat. That's uh, umpire Pelia Gurga at the far end, yeah. And I think the angle was going to take it past the leg stump. I don't know whether that's applause or what from the, bowl, from the, from the umpire. I'm not sure if he's applauding his decision or if I think it might have been a bit of bat he might be signalling to the bowler, but um, either way, it works well for him. He got it right. So that's good from the umpire there.
Last ball, just one from the over. And a good one from uh, Bennett. That's his seventh. He has one for 20, 200 for five. Still advantage, Bangladesh. But another wicket, that one turned. Just held up slightly. Thought it was going to be dragged down for a moment. Mushfakir looked to play it into the leg side and then had to adjust. A bit of bounce too. Now, can they get two? No, they're not even interested. Mamadullah now coming down to face the spin for the first time. He hasn't got off the mark just yet, but he's faced four balls. And he can possibly afford to take another few balls here, but he doesn't want to uh, keep the strike for too long. Uh, Mushfika, 22 off 23 and scoring quite nicely. You want to be giving him the strike as much as possible. New Zealand bringing in the slip here. Sensen, maybe a bit of a, a wicket opportunity. Well, the runs are just in front of point for him. Square on the offside and square on the leg side. Single to get off strike. Can't do it there. Picks out cover. Tom Latham. Just want to go either side of Tom Latham and he'll get a run. Can't get it through there either. Just gets it to uh, straight to point. Just behind. New Zealand need to keep up packing these dot balls to build pressure. Get it. Floated and he does slide it through between bowler and cover. Yeah, he's taking the pace off that. Tossed it up. Good from the batsman there. Just moving leg side of it, recognises the gap is that long off and just knocks it down the ground. Important here if New Zealand can get a, a dot ball, can they? But no, Mushfika, yes they can. So just two off that over. 40 overs gone now, just 10 to go and uh, 202 for five. So the 40 over stage in this match and uh, 69 required. Mamadullah just at the crease really, he's taken seven balls and uh, it looks as though Corey Anderson is going to bowl the next over to replace Bennett who's had seven and I think probably look at his run rate there folks and he's just picked up a wicket the one of Shucky and uh, Tom Latham wants to hold him back just in case he's just got a sense is it worth giving him another one that's uh, those are those are personal things I think he's got a feel for it here's Corey Anderson 
He gets away with one. I think Bennett's going to be the key for New Zealand here. And the skipper's just holding them back. Latham just holding Bennett back here for crunch time in the game. So just into the third power play for Bangladesh today. Let's have a look at there. They're in the middle in the white and right along at the right end in game four. 156 for four. Scored from over 10 to over 40. And so it's their best right throughout. And New Zealand got 157 for three in their second power play today. That's better from Anderson. This run rate shouldn't worry Bangladesh at this stage. 7.1. It's not excessive on a ground like this. I wouldn't think fielders spread. Older ball now when you get in, like Mushfika is, for example. He's looking relatively comfortable. Can't get it uh, through the gap he would like just to the right of Broom. That's a very nice little stroke. Moving to the offside and exploiting a gap. Now with Corey Anderson coming left arm around here. Fine leg is quite wide. Mushfika realises that. Gets down nice and low. Scoops it up over his head, over the keeper's head. Never generally a fielder there and he knows that. One bounce for four. Valuable boundary. Now a single to finish the over. So six from the Corey Anderson, 41st over, 208 for five, Bangladesh. That's a clever stroke from uh, Mushfakir. He gets back quickly. He decides that's where I'm going to hit the ball. Doesn't matter where it's going to come to me. And I can just hold the shot according to the length of the ball. Shrewd batting in that last over from uh, Mushfika. What I loved about it was the boundary, followed up by the quick single, gets himself down onto strike first, ball of the over. Hello, friends. Uh, don't forget to uh, like all Facebook page. Yeah. Mm, fire, 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 and also janavri.com. Always at janavri.com. Really, really cruising here. Hello, friends. Uh, don't forget to uh, like our friends' Facebook page, yeah. mm -hmm. and also janavidi.com. Always at janavidi.com. 
তো আমাদের এখানে ভিজিট করতে পারেন অনেক ধরনের পোস্ট থেকে শুরু করে মোটামুটি সবই পাওয়া যায় পাশাপাশি আমাদের সাইয়াসে আনসিয়াস গ্রুপে জয়েন করতে পারেন সাইয়াসে আনসিয়াস গোল্ড সেভেন সেভেন গ্রুপের পাশাপাশি আপনি ফলো করতে পারেন ইকবাল जाना जयन कर छाइया 
फेसबुक पेज आखने लाइक दी ग्रुप आर ग्रुप सर ग्रुप And if these two keep going, I can see Bangladesh getting home easily. And again, up on his toes, fantastic batting and a brilliant piece of fielding by Satner on the boundary. He's clearly being New Zealand's best fielder today, his speed across the ground is sensational. And again, when you look at Corey Anderson's figures, really, he's been pretty ineffectual here. And there's probably going to be a need for something different at the Walton end. And again, DL in these types of circumstances tell their own stories. 214 with Bangladesh on I should own a cost to Korea on a cost to wear like this is Galagali could be live of Korea on a cost to wear like this on a cost to wear on the light door like Galagali could win to live of Korea I love you on a I'm not at the world बुच्चन, कलाकारी कोर्बन लाइव आप करें तो मैं आमादा तो दौड़ कर नहीं खाया था, हमें एक तो बोल सीरी को स्कोर किया जाओ तो पेज लाइक दिया इसे बन, रेगुलर रेड को लाइव हम राज बो, कलाकारी कोनो दौड़ कर नहीं, शामानो शामानो एक तो ऐड दी थी बड़ी, हमें कॉस्टो कर लाइक दिसे में ऐड � फेसबुक Fantastic wrists, Mamadilla. It's through the ball so well. Straight out of the top draw, that shot. Gets to the pitch of the ball and a lovely flourish off the bat. Got away with that, Santner. Short ball. Hatil, the famous furniture brand from Bangladesh, which already has made its presence felt across continents. And this is not the first time Hatil is sponsoring a tournament.
Oase might have something for us here. Certainly something I'm not too sure about Oase, but maybe you might clarify it for us. Yeah, I might. I'm not 100% sure, but I thought I was. you were not allowed to do the fake slide anymore. To put off the batsman, taking off for the second run. Again, you're in this classical phase with Satner going for a boundary off the first ball. He's striving. Yeah, that's for people who don't know what I'm talking about. He fake slides pretending to go for the ball, but it's never going to be anywhere near it. I'm not sure whether that's against the spirit of cricket. Cut! And I sense we've just had a vital drop. Latham at extra cover. Satner held it back. We might need to. Oh, and you can clearly see from Nathan, Latham's body language. That's a chance. That's a chance. Maybe a way she'll have a look at this for us. Certainly a chance, and it could that be the match? Bursting through Tom Latham's hands. Very good over that for Bangladesh, end of the over. They're now 233 for five. I can order a chalata life could take data version of say IPS version of say next day to the version of the winner of the Havala. So, janavi.com is a visit for when I'm at the janavi.com Facebook page. I say, can a name like to the parent. I'm at the group. I say, I'm censored group. Shaya Saya, uncensored group. We can have me join good to parent. So, shop Kota Kota Yoga, mother page like given. I'm at the website janavi.com visit for when I'm group uncensored group. Shaya Saya group to join for when. It's not the issue now. It's going to be wickets that New Zealand need. But he's the man to whom Tom Latham has gone, gone to for control right throughout the game. He's got his three overs left, Hamish Bennett. Probably wants to try and put the pressure back onto the Bangladeshi batsman. I'm sure Hamish Bedin, with the way the field is set, is going to be banging the ball into the deck. You can see some slower balls, bouncers being bowled. He'll certainly be reluctant to pitch the ball up. And again, you're absolutely right away. It's the way this field is set up. Not a single being looked at. Although from Mamadoula. Ross Taylor coming in from deep mid-wicket into an orthodox mid-wicket position. And now New Zealand dropping down. Long off. Actual fact there was an easy single there. I don't know why there wasn't hesitation. Well to the left of Broom, backward square there. Last thing Bangladesh need is a run out. They just got to stay calm, try and rotate the strike and try and take the game deep. It's often a failing of batting teams. I completely agree with you, Ace. You take the game as deep as you can. There's another fake dive for you, always. <laughs> Hamish 
Hamish Bennett doesn't really seem to have that zip that he had early on. Going to need a moment of magic here in New Zealand if they're going to win this game. Understandable that signal from the square leg umpire there. One for the over. Yeah, Ben has got to be careful. He doesn't get too carried away with these tactics. With the way the field is spread, it is a bit for tell for the batsman that he's going to bang the ball in. Well, it's quite interesting. Away at a similar stage, Bangladesh's tactics were to go full. And they executed wonderfully well at the tail end of New Zealand's innings. Admittedly, different story. Seven and eight wickets down for New Zealand at that point. And that's easy pickings from Mamadoula. Hamish, Hamish Bennett going short again. And you can just sense amongst the Bangladesh supporters here excitement is growing as their team ventures closer to victory places it beautifully runs it off the face of the bat lot to think about from Hamish Bennett I don't know what's wrong with Hamish Bennett here but uh, a little bit upset I don't know what he's upset about, really. Oh. That looks somewhat better from Hamish Bennett, and there's obviously anger there. And you won't find many quick bowlers who are happy bunnies all the time, always. A little bit of frustration for the New Zealand bowler, Hamish Bennett. The umpire having a word. And again eased into the leg side. And Mamadoula showing the strength of running that first one quickly. Really good running from Bangladesh. End of the 45th, 2.43 for five. Assalamualaikum Bhaira. आपने देखा होगा कि दिशा कोर्स जो नामी खूबी दुखी तो, आमादे फेसबुक पे से साया साया पे जे आपने लाइफ चला देते हैं। आशुले ये टक मन लाइफ कुछ से होता है आमादे रोने किसी जहाँ वाला पहुँच तो है। तो प्लीज एक टू पूछा जैसे कोन आमादे पेस्ट का लाइफ दीते भूल बिन्ना छाया छाया पेज न and our website is sponsored by Rekalajajajan, janabd.com We can live on this website, data projects, IPS projects, desktop projects, etc. So, we can visit janabd.com and visit janabd.com on Facebook page. We can live on our website, our group, our answer group, our answer group. We can join our website. तो शॉप को था को था ये लोग हमारे पेज लाइक भी हैं हमारे वेबसाइट जाना भी रिकॉर्ड करने भी जीत कर भी हैं वो ग्रुप आंसर से ग्रुप शायद से ग्रुप पे ज्वाइन कर भी हैं। 
Bangladesh in an ICC T20. Needing two or three balls and they didn't get there. So, as we know, anything can happen in this game of cricket, but just don't sense today that New Zealand have the equipment to do it. And that's gone to the boundary there. Made away by Mamadoula. And really, just to take New Zealand body language is such that their destiny is known. Poor ball there from Matt Henry. And easily dispatched backward a square for four by Mamadoula. He's quietly and calmly gone to 28 now. Partnership 49 between these two. And really, Mohamedoula is the one who's come in and took the pressure off Mushfika. Made his life a lot easier to be able to just rotate the strike because the boundaries are coming from both ends. It's again tactically something I think that's more part of the modern game. The expectation of the new batsman in Rahim is the foundation and the stability and Mamadoula, as you say, always taking the game to the opposition. And he's proved over the years to be very good at it. Played some really good shots. Bit of unorthodox and some power as well. Not probably the shot of his innings. Been able to place the ball beautifully when required. been clubbed away on the leg side again that's the end of the over the 46 249 for five Bangladesh hello <laughs> আমাদের ফেসবুক পেজ এই সাইয়া সাইয়া পেজে আপনার লাইভ খেলা দেখছেন আসলে এটা মানে লাইভ করতে হলে আমাদের অনেক কিছু ঝামেলা পোহাইতে হয় তো প্লিজ একটু বোঝার চেষ্টা করুন আমাদের পেজটা লাইক দিতে ভুলবেন না ছাইয়া ছাইয়া পেজে নাম এন্ড আমাদের ওয়েবসাইট যেটা স্পন্সার আপনার খেলা দেখছেন জানাবিডি ডট কম এইখানে আমাদের এই খেলাটা লাইভ করতে ডাটার প্রয়োজন হয়েছে আইপিএস এর প্রয়োজন হয়েছে নেট ডেস্কটপের প্রয়োজন হয়েছে বিভিন্ন ঝামেলা तो जानी डट कम वेबसाइटे भिजिट करबेंानी डट कम फेसबुक पेज आखने That little bit of jockeying of the umpire in the last over, fiddling with his ear. Sorry, I can't hear you. I don't know what it was, but uh, I'm not so sure. And that's absolutely clubbed again. And with mid on in, it's straight over his head for four. And the inevitable appears now. Always. Just got it wrong. A little bit too full from Hamish Bennett. Marmadilla capitalizing on it. Full flourish of the bat. And I think one man who'll be very happy within the Bangladesh camp is Courtney Walsh because his seam bowlers. 
at the end of their innings did a terrific job for their team. Went full, Ruble in particular. 12 balls out of 12 in the block hole. With Taylor scoring heavily was a hell of an achievement. It's amazing how quickly a game can go away from you. But perhaps a moment, and an isolated moment. When the run out came and wickets were tumbling, Satner bowled up wide down the leg side, and you just felt momentum slipping from New Zealand. These are just little moments in a game. But uh, for me, Bangladesh's discipline at the end was vital at a time when midway through the New Zealand innings he certainly felt a score in excess of 300 was on the table and it really looks now as if Bangladesh are cantering you'd even use the word in horse racing terms trotting trotting to victory in front of their adoring fans That's gone for six, eased away on the leg side by Mamadoula, and he really has provided a huge injection in the last two overs. And the end is clearly nigh, with Bangladesh needing ten for victory here. And that's a great shot from Mamadoula, clearing the ropes easily. for victory here for Bangladesh and a rise to sixth in the ODI standings and it'll be a great fillip for them as they go into the Champions Trophy and that's the end of the over 261 for five Bangladesh Well, probably not a good time to be reintroducing former New Zealand captain Jeremy Coney with his fellow countrymen, 10 away from defeat here in a thrilling ODI match. of how they play is just adoring fans the noise the glamour everything that goes with it and you can only marvel as far as I'm concerned having been to the subcontinent watching cricket I have to say I hasten not playing but uh, it's a wonderful atmosphere to be around a cricket match in
Well, it, it shouldn't be forgotten that they've come back from the dead, Alan, really, because today, for most of that first innings, New Zealand were holding the sway. They were, they were in control. And yet, between overs 40 and 44, suddenly three wickets went in the New Zealand effort. And in came Rubel, in came Mustafiz, in came Shakib, and nothing really was given to the New Zealand tail end and uh, Taylor. And they've deserved it. And they're hitting everything now. And uh, from that moment onwards, I felt that they have been in charge of this match. New Zealand knew they were under par with the score, but they really couldn't find uh, the performance to back it up. And Bangladesh are deserving winners today. Well, I think it was typified by that wonder delivery by Shakib to Satner, and three balls later, Munro going, who absolutely pulverized the Irish attack, the tail end of their innings. But to lose momentum players like that at such a vital time left Ross Taylor really in no position to take the game. He had to manage the tail, and that was very difficult. And I, I just thought Bangladesh's bowling at the end of the innings was wonderful. Yeah, well, it will be New Zealand's that uh, trophy from their performance earlier on in this tri-series. Looks a bit like the Bledders Low Cup, that from the top end. Well, we own that. We own most trophies. So 48 gone, 266 for five, and now just five runs required from uh, the last two overs of this match. It shouldn't be needed. Both these two players are now Hello. well set. Hello, Hello. Hello. আপনাদের সবাইকে ডিসটার্ব করার জন্য আমি খুবই দুঃখিত আমাদের ফেসবুক পেজ এই সাইয়া সাইয়া পেজে আপনার লাইভ খেলা দেখছেন আসলে এটা মানে লাইভ করতে হলে আমাদের অনেক কিছু ঝামেলা পোহাইতে হয় তো প্লিজ একটু বোঝার চেষ্টা করুন আমাদের পেজটা লাইক দিতে ভুলবেন না ছাইয়া ছাইয়া পেজের নাম অ্যান্ড আমাদের ওয়েবসাইট যেটা স্পন্সার আপনার খেলা দেখছেন জানাবিডি ডট কম এইখানে আমাদের এই খেলাটা লাইভ করতে ডাটার প্রয়োজন হয়েছে আইপিএস এর প্রয়োজন হয়েছে নেট ডেস্কটপের প্রয়োজন হয়েছে বিভিন্ন ঝামেলা তো ওই জানাবেরি ডট কম ওয়েবসাইটে ভিজিট করবেন আমাদের জানাবেরি ডট কম এর ফেসবুক পেজ আছে এখানে আপনি লাইক দিতে পারেন আমাদের গ্রুপ আছে আনসেন্সের গ্রুপ সাইয়া সাইয়া আনসেন্সের গ্রুপ ওইখানে আপনি জয়েন করতে পারেন তো সব কথা এক কথাই হলো আমাদের পেজে লাইক দিবেন আমাদের ওয়েবসাইট জানাবেরি ডট কমে ভিজিট করবেন এবং গ্রুপ আনসেন্সের গ্রুপ সাইয়া সাইয়া গ্রুপে জয়েন করবেন the field time also for a bowler to think about where I'd bowl you know you you earn that time by pushing hard in the field I think through those middle overs to earn the time later it's just I think quite a useful tactic so looking ahead Jeremy champions trophy what what, what would you see as New Zealand's best team oh dear that could be it. Yes, it is. And, and Mushrika celebrates. And he certainly does celebrate. There's a big fist pump. And boy, do they deserve their victory today. And it's... <laughs> And should be nowhere near the teams here but uh, a great victory for Bangladesh today and a wonderful game which I thoroughly enjoyed yeah congratulations uh, Bangladesh two experienced uh, players old heads out there at the crease and that stroke so in much in front of square onto it so quickly a good stroke to win the match and Mamadullah just gets ahead of uh, Mushfika, 46, Mushfika, 45. Both of them at strike rates 100 or over. So it's been a very good partnership of 72 from 62 balls to see their side home. And certainly too, Jeremy, from an Irish perspective, outside of the disappointment of some of our performances, but to be involved in a series and have a series like this that's been so welcomed by the cricketing public of 
Ireland and obviously people, but New Zealanders and Bangladesh people within Ireland. Any of the conversations that I've had around the ground have thoroughly enjoyed the series. Uh, obviously, it's been disappointing from an Irish perspective, but uh, certainly from Bangladesh's and New Zealand's point of view, they've probably answered a lot of questions for themselves running into the Champions Trophy. And uh, whilst Bangladesh has a settled look about itself, there's certainly huge competition, I would imagine, within the New Zealand camp, and I'd be very interested in your views moving into the Champions Trophy as what you might see as potentially New Zealand's certainly best 11 moving into that particular tournament because these games come thick and fast and obviously with players coming back from the IPL quality players Williamson in particular on the batting side of things but a lot to be gained from this series oh absolutely um, two more games to go yet uh, from uh, from New Zealand perspective warm-up games back in England yes we've been able to introduce a few new players there's been rotation going on so but players like Broom has had a good series, I think, of four matches. And I think also Latham has done quite well. He's grown into the role as a captain a little bit further. Uh, I think Ronke's generally started the innings quite quickly. So I think New Zealand's top order, there are questions about the openers. Who are they actually going to choose? Uh, and then three, four, five, I think, are settled. And then you're getting into the difficult questions for selectors about who are going to be you know, the, the opener, is it going to be Ronke or is it going to be Latham or are you going to have some all-rounders? So there's uh, the Bangladesh response to New Zealand chasing 271. They've got there by five wickets and, uh, and over and just over a half to spare. You can see contributions right from the top. It's Tamman's sixth first ball. And Shabir also 65, and then you saw the experience in the middle order. New Zealand got close. They just needed to push another couple of wickets, and they might have created pressure. Wasn't to be, and so Bangladesh have won this side in the game. I thought it was quite interesting, too. Game changers over the course of this series has been sat there, and he didn't really settle today. And I think in those middle overs, particularly when those little clump of wickets fell and I thought there was one significant moment after that run out his next ball was five wides and he just never really settled today and he's such a pivotal part of this New Zealand team with both bat and ball and he was undone earlier on by a fantastic delivery by Shakib Assalamu alaikum bhai chao lagye just shish ko tha the amra champion of the Assalamu alaikum bhai, chao lagye just shish ko tha The amra champion trophy Bhoti di mahasi like ko raja shita gulbo Hoye janabiri.com is page e page Ba was there Facebook page janabiri.com is Othwa shay shay page Jita page jay kuneta page amra fly shita gulbo Champion trophy jato gula mahasi se bangla dushi shab kada like ko raja Amadu shate thakun Assalamu alaikum Assalamu alaikum bhai, chao lagye just shish ko tha The amra champion trophy Bhoti di mahasi like ko raja shita gulbo Hoye janabiri.com is page e page Ba was there Facebook page janabiri.com is Othwa shay shay page Jita page jay kuneta page amra fly shita gulbo Champion trophy jato gula mahasi se bangla dushi shab kada like ko raja Amadu shate thakun 
Assalamualaikum Assalamualaikum bhai chawal lagye just shesh kotha je amra champion trophy poti din match like korar chesta korbo hoy janabiri.com er page er page ba website er facebook page janabiri.com er othoba the the page jeta page dekho na ekta page amra try chesta korbo champion trophy joto gula match ache bangladeshi sob kora like kora amader sathe thakun dhonnobad assalamualaikum Hello, Gav. Can you hear me? Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I can. Can we just keep everything quite calm, please? Thanks. No, no. I'm just saying, if you do talk, I just want it calm. That's all.